Now with GTA 6 and Rockstar Games being the topic of discussion right now in the gaming community and the future of gaming, I think now is the perfect opportune time for me to address the whole Grand Theft Auto entry or the next Grand Theft Auto entry in the series for Rockstar Games and more specifically the future of Rockstar Games as a whole. Because it seemed like that once Rockstar put out those two tweets regarding GTA 6 and the next Grand Theft Auto entry on Twitter, everybody and their mama had something to say about it. Some more excited than others and getting their videos out within the first hour of that tweet going live but I digress but now it's my turn to give my two cents like 50 cent and possibly earn more than 25 cents on this video and discuss the future of Rockstar Games and more specifically Grand Theft Auto 6. So yeah, let's talk about it. I feel like with Rockstar putting out these tweets and the newswire regarding and addressing the newest addition to Grand Theft Auto and the newest entry to the series, I feel like that we needed this now more than ever, especially after the disaster that was the GTA trilogy with that piss poor remaster and also the now soon to be expanded and enhanced quote unquote version of GTA 5 coming in at least a good solid month and I know for a fact it's going to be a disaster. I feel like that this was needed now more than ever because if you don't know how revolutionary GTA 5 was and know how much this game really mattered in the gaming industry and impacted the industry as a whole let me put it into perspective for you this game made a billion dollars the first night and a half of its release in September of 2013 and then damn near making another billion the next year and then every single year afterwards has made some from a hundred million dollars to damn near another billion since 2015 and still releasing DLCs for this game that's going on almost nine years they made almost another billion dollars last year in 2020 and 2021 there was no other movie there was no other album there was no other any type of form of entertainment in any industry at all to do these kind of numbers these are Takashi 6 9 music level kind of records that Rockstar is breaking just off GTA 5 alone I mean think about it 1 billion dollars in one night and then back to back years you making anywhere from 500 million to a billion dollars each year in microtransactions that is insane but still when you build up that core following and keep your customers happy and give them what they want when they want it that is very much possible as seen here but on the opposite side of the spectrum when that money starts to run out and fans demand something new or want something new and want them to expand and build off from the success that they had with another previous successful title it is time to work on it and work on it fast before the hype starts to die down and I think that's what it's gonna start to happen here with Grand Theft Auto 6. When I saw people getting excited to these tweets and getting excited to the fact that Rockstar acknowledged the fact that there's another Grand Theft Auto uh, entry coming our way and it's in development, I thought that we were all on the same page because I'm going to keep it above 50 with you. I address this and address the fact that GTA 6 or the next Grand Theft Auto entry was in development back in 2020. And then again in 2021 with the rumor saying that it could be released in 2025 and I've said it countless times that these Rockstar fanboys they're gonna go mental over any little thing that Rockstar says or they put out regardless because if the GTA trilogy can still sell 10 million copies despite all the game breaking bugs all the collision issues the fact that it was developed and published by Grove Street Games aka War Drum Studios that screwed up the remaster for San Andreas on the Xbox 360 it just goes to show you that Rockstar is still gonna sell regardless and is gonna sell copies regardless. Red Dead Redemption 2 was by far one of the best video games and best Rockstar titles I have ever played and firsthand experienced in my entire life. And that means a lot coming from someone who's been playing Rockstar titles 
since they were in diapers and really i think the whole preference and i think the whole reason why i'm making this video in the first place is to just let people know that it's just time to move on to something bigger and better because gta 5 has been around for over a decade now the reveal trailer came out in 2011 it got delayed at least a good solid three or four times it came out in 2013 then heist for online got delayed on top of the fact that online was delayed in the first place until a month after its initial release in 2013 and then when heist came out we they just been dropping back to back to back to back to back dlcs for the game and milked every single penny they could out of the game until leading up to these tweets and the more important thing that i do also want to say in this video is that don't completely get your hopes up for the next grand theft auto entry we'll get reveals and we'll get gameplay when we get it but at the same time i do want people to understand that this is the same company that botched the gta trilogy made a joke of the entire trilogy as a whole by passing it to Grove Street games which is one of the worst development teams in their studio they botched and completely ignored the save red dead online community which i am going to discuss in a later video and i'm going to discuss it in my next two videos and probably my first two videos ever completely addressing red dead redemption 2 and they also about to botch the grand theft auto 5 expanded and enhanced that's about to come out next month so at the end of the day, like we just gotta make sure that we just keep a high level of expectations for Rockstar to at least put out a decent game and then anything else can come after. But I will also say that this is also another shot at Rockstar redeeming themselves and this is also their last chance at redemption to rebuild the community and rebuild the trust they put into the community and their fan base for the past two decades. Remember, Rockstar Games made Red Dead Redemption and this could be Rockstar's redemption arc. Like I said in previous rants and I did in previous videos addressing Rockstar Rockstar and any kind of rumors, leave the old hits alone and allow newer hits to come. 